Hello, Commando. This is Sir the Gunhort on GC9 Eds. With me today are Barbonado. Hello. Cow. Howdy. And that's pretty much everyone here. Today we're checking out Spirits of Xanadu, an indie horror game released by Night Dive Studios. And so it takes a while on this tile screen here. I hear this game takes a lot of in Yep. I hear this game takes a lot of inspiration from System Shock, which is appropriate considering they're doing that remake and all. Yes, it is definitely an homage to System Shock. Oh, they really like Pretty System Shock. Only. So, I would say this is one of their almost a dry run of remaking System Shock was making this. I, I kind okay. of feel. Okay, first, you might notice you are not a 21st century man because this is 1983. <laughs> and, uh, yes, uh, we're on. This is our ship, is it? And we're, where, what ship are we boarding? To ask one of the eggheads. The anyway, Xanadu. If you're listening to this message, then you're in the vicinity of Alpha Orionis. Place nobody there to go. I just wanted to say thank you once again for taking this job on. There aren't many people. So I assume the whole game takes place the inside the ship, to right? Grateful to you. What? I, know that. I really, really like how again, you get to see it from the outside. And you have this extended shot of uh, the entry and sort of game. Research, so bring her back it just makes it feel a little bit more real when the moss is for that metal tone. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly jump up here and just mention. Uh, the recording that we have, the video kind of got a little bit messed around, so we're sorry the text isn't super legible, but we will read out anything important. The real, the game does not quite look as low-res as we're running it. Wait, was that logo like a naked woman? I never really noticed. Oh look, there's someone right up there. I like it when ships are full of people that are alive. So, is this gun you picked up like the only weapon you get? No, it's actually the first of three, and I will be demonstrating all of them. This one is actually pretty useful though because it is sort of the most accurate of the three you get. Also, I know that white flash. Is that anything we should be worried about? Uh, probably not. It's. It's mostly there to demonstrate when a hallucination happens. Well, I don't think worried about a hallucination. I'm just saying. Well, if you find it, because I'm under the impression that uh, a lot of them will go off and you won't notice. Right, it, it's not forcing him to look at it, which oh, I Oh crap, was that Slender Man? Get him! Here comes the Daleks. There goes the Daleks. <laughs> So those are the enemies you fight across the game, right? Yes. And I should add, this is actually after a recent patch that ups the difficulty considerably. What does it do, exactly? Well, for one thing, that robot over there wasn't there before. Some of the enemy placement is now random compared to the previous release. That's that. That's nice, you know. Um, when you're gonna, because this game is built to be replayed, is my understanding. Right, but well, there are three endings, and one of them is kind of exclusive uh, to uh, pl and to uh, your play. Well, if you have found this, and like System one, Shock, you have logs everywhere him. telling you what kind of horrible things happen. I will here. destroy it before the ship reaches Earth. I appreciate how much My stuff there is to interact Cornel with. Johns. Yeah, that's and arguably most of the fun, it's just the physicality the of the game world. I am sound of body and mind. I do Sorry. like games where you just like mess and with everything. Oh, that was another change, that's low drone that I blew up there. Uh, originally that a single charge shot would kill it, so if you didn't that. have its attention it was they very easy to snipe them time. from a distance. So I have acted first. Now, not so much. I have the ship's computers and taken the control of a vessel. Do you have unlimited ammo in that yes. pistol? I do not relish this deception. Okay, so first all, do the is storing power to different the sections of the ship. 
can no longer uh, do I've mostly job. got this section memorized, but basically every time you flip that switch it'll tell you if further the voltage is too Ooh. high or low. Then you press reset and try again. Which, uh, anyone familiar with uh, Mist, it is a classic Mist puzzle. I don't think it would be that straightforward, Mist. <laughs> actually, uh, it is one of the easier puzzles in Mist. Um, it actually gives you pretty much everything you need very close to the puzzle itself. Uh, because in Mist, it is one of the, uh, the world entry puzzles, and it is only part of a world entry puzzle, so those are very basic Okay, puzzles, this is right? a very important Mecca fin. We're going to be collecting the piece of uh, the nav computer. And a lot of the stuff seems pretty easily missed, so is there a lot of sort of backtracking and mucking around um, on your I first playthrough? I would actually playthrough? say first playthrough can take upwards of two hours if uh, you don't know what you're doing. How big is the area you're exploring, uh, did you say? Well, not too big, uh, to be honest, but just enough to, well, make exploring interesting. To get lost so in. Towards there. These things are kind of a pain if you don't know how to deal with them. You just stay at their line of sight. Yeah, it's like, the right? thing about having to shut off uh, the shields that you have to worry about. It's not really obvious at first how you bring the shields down. So what's your goal right I'm now? I'm trying to get the engine restarted, right, and right as you can tell from those screwdrivers and the gears, there's been some sabotage. I like the fact that it's a spaceship with gears in the engine. Well, as you said, this is set in the uh, the 80s, so it has... It is actually kind of weird that it's got this slight um, old tech sort of approach, but at the same time it's got a very clean aesthetic, which is not typical of the 80s. This is much more typical of the 60s and 70s sci-fi. Well, on the other hand, if it's set in the 80s, the one that technically mean it would have been made in the 70s, since that would have been the, and the 80s would have been the future. And okay, no well, I one's do mean actually contact HQ. So, are we looking through cameras uh, here yeah, predominantly? Yeah, I just decided to show off the. Security cameras and oh, looks like there's some blood. Uh, yo. I like those gravity elevators, that's very system shock, too. Don't think it's coming through very well in the video, but no neat thing. Uh, I'd have to say, all these little particles of dust they added uh, to the atmosphere. Yes, you can, you can definitely see them. Um, they are. Like okay. visually present. I think it's now time to get ourselves the second again. I mean, who hides a shotgun in the back of a vent? Wizards. <laughs> That's a reference. I'm not sure everyone will get. Okay, what question? Oh yes, that is most definitely a basketball. Can... Yes. I hope he can achieve for putting through a hoop. He tried to cheat and it backfired. Do you yes. actually get an achievement for putting it through a hoop? In fact, you even get a cheat code. Perfect. I love this movie. Subtle. Very subtle. Wait, why are there skeletons in a car that's also called Xanadu? I do not know. Someone help me out. <laughs> now we're playing Minecraft, apparently. It's this the fully featured Resident Evil 4 and, clone. And also, one fun thing is that if you haven't actually uh, turned on the lights and uh, played this, it'll be set at night instead. That's not Similarly, realistic, uh, but I appreciate the it. The TV won't actually show you the license plate on the car.
Right, so in some ways you could say that this is part of the hallucinations going on, not just the... Uh, also, this is probably one of the of hardest the rooms combat-wise that, that's coming up. I find that it's very hard to fight people in the shower. Actually, the shower is probably... Well, I don't manage to pull it off, but there's an achievement for lowering a robot oh, I... into the water and short it. That's that's a nice touch again. Now I know those robots. Um, they're robots. You get those in receiver, the don't you? The like flying. Well, actually, uh, yeah. They also look robots. like the ones from Half Life Two. Only the blades aren't the part you worry about. Right. Now, I that's believe that a recent update this yes. game is the robots were And spawn, again, right? it made these things even more annoying because you can no longer just snipe them and be done with it. Correct. But, uh, classic, you do have unlimited like, ammo. Slowly turns red the, the closer you are to death. But... Ah, blaze screen so real. Which is not very system shock. Where, where's all the random foodstuffs that you just shove down your gob? Oh, those are in the kitchen. <laughs> Kinda looks like that robot's flipping you off. Oh crap. Oop, dead. Or am I? So you just respawn when you die? Yeah, on yeah. normal mode. They drag you up to like a security cell, I guess? On anything higher, the game will lose Wait, on hold mode, you're... Oh, don't. The lights go down. Anyway, uh, on the hold mode, uh, you're booted back to your last Ooh, save, Captain though Jones I no hear this is going to be changed in an upcoming patch, be and on Iron Man, you're booted back to the title screen. We've actually been taken relatively far into the ship at this point, but we need to move back down you got your ass kicked. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good thing I've got unlimited lives. So do you always just go back to the cell once you die? Yeah. I mean, uh, assuming you're playing normal mode. Uh, yeah. I would say that seems like it would be a little confusing uh, for a new player for this game if they uh, got killed pretty early and then woke up in the middle of, like, nowhere. Damn. Does this game have a map of any sort you can find? Yes, actually. I've been kind of just speedrunning past them, but uh, there are actually maps on uh, just about every hub area and hub room. Oh, lights are back. So is this about like the fastest you can beat the game if you know exactly where to go? Uh, actually, the that was an achievement for beating the game in ten minutes or less. I guess I should just throw this out right now. If you find this game interesting, I believe we do get to the end of it in this playthrough, so you may want to uh, drop out at some point uh, if you don't want to experience the Oh, there was, experience there was one of the, the maps climax. that uh, blew the on the wall, and there was one there too. There are, there are multiple endings, though, I believe. Correct, and we're taking the de what I consider the default ending. <laughs> So I guess it's interesting, uh, I mean, you know, people don't always love the Halo games, but I'm pretty sure the fancy charging pistol is pretty much Halo 101. Hmm. I'd say it's nice to have, I mean, even, even Doom's new pistol does that. Not that you ever really use a pistol in Doom 2016 anyway. I mean, you don't—you didn't really use it in the original either, except when you uh, didn't have much shotgun. 
I've actually beaten the previous version on Iron Man. Oh, that's new. Oh, yeah. This is creepy. We haven't seen that before. Oh, this is only creepy. And yes, you have full control here. Do you have to follow it? Can you just... I like, haven't tried not following it, how bit. Oh look, it's the Iblis Stone again. Now we know what happened here. So was that an extended heat uh, hint segment? I have no idea. And just this, like with the Iblis Stone, it seems a lot of people I died and we were unaware of it. <laughs> As I slip him from my shoulders like an old coat. I have killed my crewmate, Solomon Agnew, with a .35 screwdriver pushed up into his skull from under his chin. How long was that screwdriver? God damn! I held him and cried, shedding my humanity like a I mean, think how much it would take to get a screwdriver through someone's brain from under their chin. I watched in his eyes as he left, the life force arcing between seven nodes. The oh, I leaps of one more time with with feeling. Let's see if we I can get to that. Go. A great weight that lifted. All, thing about All love. his maniac chatter muted in an instant. It was a mercy to kill him. I took his body and I gave it up into the night, into the sunless sea. Yep. The captain will be next. Her thoughts are an interference. A mouthless drone fringed with sinuous rails. When I return to Earth, I will be clothed Can you get an in light, with that? scoured like oh. a missing piece. I will be a sample. You a sample. Definitely read those emails, I unfortunately, an the video quality is shot here, so, so much for that. You could probably read if you pause the video. No, you probably can't. Well, that's just another reason to play the game for yourself, so... I don't believe this game is very expensive, uh, correct? It normally sells for like $10, but I've seen it go on sale for as much as 75% off. I can read that one. It's a little bit of a struggle to read this, but, you know... I gotta ask, how many basketball robots does a ship need? Because I don't think the answer is 30. Uh, nearly as many and in the previous uh, patch, and... Okay, I have to add, this is uh, kind of cool that they made up, a, oh, I made up a sequel for The Shining in this alternate universe. I'm under the impression, I believe uh, you looked it up, and that there is technically a sequel to The Shining, uh, one, but not quite. It came out in the 2000s, and it's only a book. Well, it has here, it's a movie and that was uh, at, made without Kubrick or Stephen King's uh, involvement. Hey, more <laughs> defense. That's a cool game. Uh, yeah, it's a, Immortal Defense is a very interesting game. It's a tower defense game with a lot of philosophical questions, which is extraordinarily odd. Uh, you know, tower defense and philosophical debate do not typically go hand in hand, but they tried, and it worked pretty well. Okay, one more piece that solver to go. Thankfully, it's not full. You draw dance poly at me, I draw dance poly at you. It seems like the combat's not too bad as long as you never have to deal with more than one robot at once. For well, the most part, the kind of damage sponges I noticed. I mean, I would say, I assume that you're not really supposed to Rambo your way through this. You are supposed to feel a little bit underpowered. Oh good, another uh, pop-up man. Was it a clipping error? Was it a spawn bug? Was it a ghost? You don't know.
I love the number of uh, staplers kicking around. Like, I can totally see staplers on a spaceship. That just... Why does this guy need, like, four staplers? Hello, darling. Oh. Huh. I'm going to spend my birthday. Just been listening to the recording I made for you last night on my birthday. <laughs> Thoughts and these aren't actually synced, so helpful to you. If I tell you that I had a One few not. drinks first, you'll already know what it was like. Good day. John's with now, the those masks you keep seeing rooms. disappear, nice those are actually related to anyway, one of the, the three different endings, as well as that page you may have seen with the number with, with on it. I wanted to record this one just to say, I love you. I assume that the other ending or endings get a little weird, um, Actually, given how one esoteric of them it seems the to be. Endings is them. fairly normal, but the last one is the, the mask ending, as I'll call it, is definitely weird. The mask ending. I assume this is a guess. I haven't seen this ending, and don't don't answer me. But I assume. I it's going to go a bit uh, Space from? Odyssey on you. The other ending is simply an alternate out. set of coordinates than the one you'll give enough <laughs> at the start of the game. Seems that way. It looks this like holodeck? it's actually different rooms. It's kind of it actually looks like it's different it's rooms kind of judging by that holodeck. seam on the se uh, Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's it seems to be like a like a 1980s style holodeck which doesn't actually do anything except open and close different panels. Now that we've got the SMG, the combat isn't going to be a problem at all from here on out. We'll formally detail the events of of the past few days. My current I believe you, you did that deliberately though, correct? Because yeah, you can yeah, fetch the SMG whenever you feel like it as long as you know the code. <laughs> The symptoms are migraines, mild hallucinations. So if you want, you can start a new game. What? You can be like right to an interview and just grab it right away, right? Got a system break. Sequence break, not system. Has Whatever. Compromised by his Leave me alone. And as you can see, it just John's completely obliterates everything. He's busying himself with repairs to the ship's systems. Regardless of. Oh, look, it's I recognize this room. I hope and trust that I'll be in the near future. So I hear that this game uh, also has yes, a mode that is able to combat. Yes, the robots are still there, but they're completely docile. Oh, it's the fragments of the endless stone. I guess when all those succeeded. So it turns into more of a... So I, I do think uh, the mode without the combat is almost slightly more interesting. Ah, oh, that doesn't bode well for us. So, was that about the combat? I'm uh, I played it. With... Go ahead. Yeah, I was just gonna say I I think that you know, the combat is not necessary potentially since it's not really where the plot is. It's just kind of like there to be an obstacle. Without the combat, see, this more like a sci-fi version of Gone Home, which I wouldn't really say is a bad thing. Where are the lesbians? Point. I don't know if that's even a spoiler for Gone Home. It's such a Dead publicly known fact as far as I, homeless, I might even come back understand. So, it's... Yes. Can you destroy it? Why is everything about murder with you? You just gotta be so careful, you know? You just gotta be sure. If you can't kill something, you don't want any part of it. You know. Uh, now, I, I think uh, you mentioned this has, uh, this now runs in Unity 5. I, I think it also had it was, was it on Unity 4 previously? Well, it's really noticeable around any viewport. Because okay, yeah, so... Yeah, definitely would have been from Unity 4 to 5 then, because 5 has a different lighting system. Captain Lucy Zhao, 24th March. 
the I, I gotta say, I like the voice acting, I what I've been able to hear. They now include heart palpitations, um, auditory you know, it, it doesn't feel... It doesn't feel like programmer voicing, it, it sounds like pretty reasonable voice actors. The assuming was more like a passion project Solomon than anything. Well with the situation and John's. Yeah, this is the witch. Hmm. This one looks important. You know how you know what I build for my spaceship bridges? I make them the least defensible, most vulnerable part of the ship. That's that's what I like in my you know command bridges. So they can so much more big sense with the information that also which less Don't get me wrong, I like this room. It's a nice uh, change of pace. Uh, good good choices to uh Sweet, let's re repair the, the ship. I mean, that's nothing could possibly go wrong here. Someone get my mate Bubsy on the line and ask him what could reason. go wrong. It rains now sometimes, you know, I've, the, I've uh, been outside. Yep. Which was your objective, as I understand. Uh, to get the ship back. Uh, so, uh, again, uh, anyone who wants to check this game out for themselves, this is getting close to your last chance to bail out. Ah, your engine hit points are 100 out of 100, that's good. Ooh, a nice, uh, nice back shot of the, the ship. ship well, that's fine. You can follow this trail of uh, happy flowers. Oh, hi, crew. Well. You know, the crew are just looking out for you. They've been helping you the whole time. Thanks, flowers. Thanks a lot. You're useless. Hey, let's That's an important post to know. At all, 0.1%. That has to be a good sign. That's that's great. Like other, like uh, it's got air, you know, oxygen and uh, something. So does it yeah, ever go out? The logs actually go reveal quite a bit. I just have only grabbed logs. less than a fraction. Not that of that's them. a bad thing either. I leave some mystery. So I'm getting an, an idea of what happened. But I'm not sure if I'm right. You stop following the flowers. That's naughty. Agnew. Agnew. It's that guy from Futurama. I am a science officer aboard the... Whoa. Watch the language, Dale. My name is Solomon Michael. Yes, please. Fuck off! Stop! I don't see where they go. <sighs> Man, <laughs> that was, uh, you know. Things ain't how you thought they were, Agnew. Yep, nothing could possibly go wrong here. Well, at least we got the ship back to Earth. I mean, that's oh, what we were supposed to do, right? A really small off or a really big ship.
Could be both. I don't know how that would work, but... I guess there isn't gonna be a party all over the world now. The suspense is killing me. And I guess it killed everyone else! Well, technically that wasn't our fault. Realistically speaking, you know, that, you know, we have a lot of problems that came post the 80s, so that may have been a good thing. I know that despite the small size, I actually really like replaying this because of that, all of the detail in the environment. For me, I would say I think I'd honestly rather play without the combat, because I would just want to just walk around just examine everything. I think that's where the real appeal of the game is. I like how it actually kind of appeals to both mindsets, because you can then switch it to Iron Man difficulty well. You, not only do you have to deal with the more difficult robots, but you only get one chance at the game total. <laughs> I, I do think um, that not being able to be killed uh, will add to the immersion of the game, since I felt like by the time you died like six or seven times, it was kind of getting a bit silly that you were just constantly respawning. Um, and I think that that makes a decent difference, is that sort of constant immersion and then slowly realizing that things are not good, whereas when the robots are trying to murder you the whole time, it's a bit more like, oh, stuff's wrong, stuff's wrong, stuff's wrong, rather than, huh, it's a bit weird. Um, you say there should have been more of a gradual transition. A gradual transition uh, definitely works better, and it would have been more typical of, uh, I guess, this sort of science fiction. Oh crap, we ran out of video. Uh, good night, everybody. Later.